mono and saturated fats like avocado oil have exploded in demand due to its heart healthy benefits the new first of its kind quality and purity study just released shows how detrimental this unregulated oil can be but it's not all bad news there's a silver lining at the end of the tunnel out of the 22 samples tested you will learn which two specific brands passed the test if your goal is to find a beneficial cooking oil which keeps body inflammation levels down for outstanding blood sugar control then you've come to the right place don't forget to subscribe and hit that gray notification bell that way you'll be alerted when new life-changing episodes have been published and if you learned something new today please smash that like button for me avocado oil has become the new superstar of oils according to most nutritional experts as one of the healthiest oils known to man this specific monounsaturated oil is used in both cooking and as a unrefined semi-solid oil for cosmetic purposes in the moisturizing and skin and hair care products the worldwide explosion of metabolic diseases such as heart disease diabetes high blood pressure and yes even cancer is expected to drive the growth of the global avocado oil market during the next forecast period this is where it's going to be heavily marketed for these purposes mainly because it's promoted as that healthy fat what our health organizations are starting to now realize and objectively see as in many of the recent studies are showing chronic health conditions such as heart disease is not linked to saturated fats in foods like butter and beef it's a combination of a few things first it is the overconsumption of omega-6 fats the most abundant source in our diets comes from vegetable oils or what should be really called industrial seed oils our bodies contain a lot of checks and balances omega fatty acids are an example omega-6s are responsible for an inflammatory response and are necessary in times of trauma and sickness omega-3s are anti-inflammatory and are necessary to rebalance the body after an immune response too many omega-6 to omega-3s puts us out of balance and in a constant inflammatory state remember inflammation equals illness when it comes to us diabetics like me in particular the inflammation from these oxidized foods high in omega-6s causes high blood sugars to remain elevated this is why on paper avocado oil has jumped into a position of prominence and praise it is versatile and makes an excellent cooking oil not only because it contains the heart healthy monounsaturated fats but it's got a high smoke point of 520 degrees this distinguishes it from olive oil which has a low smoke point of around 350 degrees extremely high heat that is generated from cooking destroys the chemical structure of oils not only negating their health benefits but also making them toxic and dangerous for consumption the temperature at which the breakdown process begins is called the smoke point and as the name suggests it is the temperature at which a particular oil starts to burn and then transforms from a solid state into smoke one tablespoon of avocado oil contains around 125 calories and just in case you were wondering that is the same for all liquid cooking oils now let's get into some interesting nutritional facts there are actually three types of different fats in avocado oil avocado oil contains around 70 percent monounsaturated fats around 16 percent saturated fats and around 14 percent polyunsaturated fats 
It is far superior to vegetable oils such as, listen to the list, canola oil, soybean oil, corn oil, peanut, palm, safflower, grapeseed oils, which are highly refined and are inflammatory due to their high omega-6 content. The other nutritional facts you may not be aware of, and this is where politics and agendas comes through by the manipulation of chemistry. No fats in foods are exclusively one type of fat. If you notice, avocado oil has around 16% of its fat in the saturated form. Saturated means the molecule is saturated with hydrogen bonds. This chemical structure is relatively rigid. So saturated fats like butter and lard are solid at room temperature. And this is an excellent feature because oxygen cannot bond and cause oxidation and rancidity. In other words, it's a very stable fat unlike unsaturated fats which contain this weak double bond. Beef, as you probably already know, contains saturated fats as part of their fat mix. And this is why we're told to avoid it. But what you may not know, because it's been purposely evaded and covered up, almost 50% of the fat found in beef is monounsaturated fat, the good fat. Look it up. Salmon, known as the healthiest of foods because of its high omega-3 content, has 21% of its fat in the saturated form. That's never brought up either. Avocado oil has not been marketed very long, so it's a matter of time before new detailed studies were funded and the final analysis revealed. And they're here now. According to new research from the food science experts at the University of California, Davis, and this is the country's very first extensive study of the quality and purity of the available commercial avocado oil. The vast majority of avocado oil, around 82% sold here in the United States, is either extremely of poor quality, in other words, it's oxidized and old, it's mislabeled completely or adulterated and mixed with other oils like you would see in the very devious olive oil industry. This is damning. In three cases, bottles on the grocery store shelves labeled as pure or extra virgin avocado oil contained 100% soybean oil. This is the cheapest of oils found in processed foods. And I've said this before, and it's worth repeating. Soybean oil is rat poison. It will devastate your health over the long term. Every time you go out to a restaurant, remember more than likely to keep costs down. They too are using and reusing, that is the key term, old, highly oxidized soybean oil. Just always ask before you order. And let me give you a great personal example of how this works. Last year, my wife and I went to a wedding, and for dinner, all I had to eat with my low-carb approach was the lamb chops and some salad. I have never really had lamb chops before, but let me tell you, these lamb chops were out of this world. So I did. I overindulged. After dinner, while the chef and his team were cleaning up, I complimented him on his foods and asked him how he seasoned his meats. He talked about the marinades in particular, but through my experience as a diabetic, all I really wanted to know was which oil he was using to cook and marinate in. And yes, it turned out to be my worst fear, soybean oil. My body became so inflamed just after that one meal, I could not get my blood sugars down and into my normal range for two days straight. Those of us who buy avocado oil are not only interested in their health benefits, but the big difference here, we are willing to pay much 
much more for this product in particular. To add insult to industry, remember, three samples did not even contain a single drop of real avocado oil. Why? Because they are no standards set yet. There is no one out there regulating these false or misleading labels. Since avocado oil is relatively new on the scene, the Food and Drug Administration has not yet adopted standards of identity. The vast majority of manufacturers out there are continuing to profit and leverage the growth of this market at our expense. Let's briefly delve into some of the details of the study. They did analyze 22 domestic and imported avocado oil samples, which included all the brands that they could find in local grocery stores and online. 15 out of the 22 samples were already oxidized before the expiration date. And that should come at no surprise as 14% of the mix in avocado oil is polyunsaturated fats, meaning they are multiple locations of that molecule where oxygen can bind and destroy it. This will always happen over time when exposed to light, heat, and air. And at this point, this is where a once healthy oil turns into a toxic soup not fit for human consumption. Six of the samples were mixed with large amounts of other oils, including sunflower, safflower, and the dreaded soybean oil. I can't just leave you with all bad news. There were two brands that were pure and non-oxidized. Those were chosen foods, which can be found at Walmart and Target, and Marianne's avocado oil from Costco. Both these two refined avocado oils are made in Mexico. Among the virgin grades, Cal Pure produced in California was pure and fresher than the other samples of the same grade. Here are my tips when it comes to buying avocado oil. The flavor of avocado oil can differ by region. In general, authentic oil should taste grassy, buttery, and a little bit like mushrooms. Virgin avocado oil should be green in color, whereas the refined avocado oil, light yellow, almost clear, due to pigments being removed during the refining process. Even good oils become rancid with time. It's important to purchase a reasonable size that can be finished before the oil oxidizes. Always buy the smallest available bottles. Yes, I know they cost more, but once opened and exposed to air, they keep the freshest. Always store your oil away from light and heat. A cool, dark cabinet is a great choice rather than next to a warm stove. How do you know if an oil has gone rancid? It starts to smell stale, sort of like Play-Doh. Choose the oils in dark glass bottles closest to the harvest production time to ensure maximum freshness. The best before date as you know now, is not always a reliable indicator of quality. You also may be asking, what are the differences between avocado oil and olive oil other than their smoking point nutritionally? Well, there's not too much difference between the two except for their vitamin E content. On average, olive oil provides around 33% of the recommended daily allowance of vitamin E, while a tablespoon of avocado oil contains around 23% of the recommended daily value. The health benefits of both oils depends on the quality of the product and the refining process. Refining oils strips them of their nutrients and antioxidants. Extra virgin and cold pressed oils are the least refined and the healthiest options for both of them. But you must remember when it comes to olive oil, the quality and purity is on par to avocado oil, maybe even worse. The industry reeks of deceit, especially the imported ones. Buyer beware. What are my suggestions for you? One, absolutely stay away from all the vegetable oils indefinitely. If you are going to use avocado oil, you now have two brands you can choose from. When it comes to olive oil, never 
ever buy the imported versions. There are now new domestic sources available here in the States. California producers in particular are under strict labeling rules that they must adhere to for a pure, unadulterated product. Grass-fed butter is and has always been one of the best options. It's extremely stable as mentioned, which means even I, as an insulin-dependent type 1 diabetic, my blood sugars are much easier to control with butter used as the medium than any other oil. I like my blood sugars to remain in that 70 to 100 milligram a deciliter range all day long. Using the right oils or fats to cook in that do not oxidize will create an environment where insulin requirements will go down because there is less inflammation. Less inflammation means body composition changes, less body fat, more muscle, greater overall health. What you may have not considered either, when one has low inflammatory markers, the body can also fight off all these new deadly viruses and any of their variants. Furthermore, you can recover from illness, injury, and all the age-related matters as the body begins the healing process. I bet you would love to learn more on the subject specifically related to nutrition and diabetes. So I'll create two more links for you. The first link you will see is subscribe to this all-important life-changing channel. The second link is a playlist I'll set for you on diabetes and fat loss episodes. So have a great and productive day and we will see you soon with another new episode which are generally released weekly. Bye for now.